All right. Happy Friday, everybody. Big waves out there. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great one. We're going to end the week this week with skeptic. The word skeptic. Um, and I'll tell you, I actually, I, I, I sent Coach this word because um, I'm actually, I'm here in Denver, Colorado. I was in Colorado Springs last night. We had an absolute packed house. People, uh, people from everywhere coming in. Um, I don't think we could have squeezed one more person in there, but uh, you could tell people ready to get together. They ready to get together and have some fun together. Uh, nothing like human interaction. But um, so we were there and, um, but, but before we went there, I thought about being a skeptic. And, you know, I think about the last 10 years, you don't have to be in my profession to, to understand this message this morning. But the last over a decade now, I've been involved with the network marketing industry. So I'm about a skeptical industry. Um, people, people are skeptics. I was skeptic. And, and, and so I was thinking a lot about that, just about what all's happened in the last decade, if you're willing to open your mind. And so if you look at the definition of skeptic, a person inclined to question or doubt accepted opinions. Now that's the definition. And I put down kind of two different quotes because I love them. Because when you think about the word skeptic, a lot of times it has a, raise your hand if you think it's a negative, like it kind of sounds negative, right? It's really not. It, it's, it's really the path of a sound credence is through the thick forest of skepticism. Um, and, and being skeptic does not mean him who doubts, but him who investigates or researches. And the reason this word really meant something for me or to me, I should say, um, is because there's been times in my life, how many of you are this type person? opportunity comes somebody tells you about something and you just react you just jump in it you just take action on it without investigation i've done that in my life i really have i'm kind of one of those ready shoot aim guys i just am i'm like we can sit around and talk about it all day long we can sit around and investigate it we can sit around and research it we can sit around and then i can spend my life doing all that and never spend my life taking action so i'm more of an action taker but man, has it got me in trouble before. Woo! Just jumping in. Jumping in the poo and realizing, woo, the water's too hot. So being a skeptic, sometimes researching, sometimes investigating, could save you a lot of agony. It could have me. But I'll tell you something else. While you're investigating, your mind's got to be open. You know, your mind's kind of like a parachute. It only works when it's open. And if you go through life being skeptical and closed off and closed-minded, I believe that's a, not a great characteristic. But if you go through life, when you talk about skeptic, actually investigating, but investigating with an open mind, in investigating with a hopeful heart that you found something, you got your hands on something, great things can come out of that. Um, and I guess the reason for the word, and, and one of the things I want to challenge all of us is, is as we go through our days and our weeks and we come across new things, new ideas, new ways to look at things, it's okay to investigate. Matter of fact, it's great to investigate. It's great to be a skeptic from an investigation standpoint. But do it through an open mind. Open your parachute so that you can accept new ideas possibly, so that you can accept new practices, so that you can accept new opportunities because you never know what's in store for you. And I'll never forget, as I end my part, a couple of years ago, in our in, in my profession, and some of you were inside of this company, when I got the word 
that we were about to merge with a new company. And this was my career. This was a lot of the other people's careers. We'd he helped a lot of people. And I, it's like, I was scared. I was skeptical. But thank goodness by this time in my life, I had the mindset of it's okay to be skeptical, but investigate, learn, plug in, gain knowledge, but do it with an open mind, not a closed mind, not a closed off heart. And what I found was it was a beautiful marriage. It gave us so much more opportunity, so much more ability to grow. It, 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 it allowed so many people to flourish that were not flourishing. And man, am I forever grateful. And so as I sit in Colorado Springs in Denver over the next couple of days, this word means a lot to me because, you know, I realize that it's okay to investigate. It's okay to be skeptical, but do it with an open mind, an open heart, and, and realize that there can be a lot come in your direction if you have that type mindset. So, Coach, I'll turn it to you. All right. Hey, thank you, Brent. And can you hear me okay? Like I, said, I can hear you good. Okay, because I'm traveling and I'm, I've never really done one of these traveling. So um, a lot of things I'm going to say are what, you, what Coach just went over, but I think uh, I also have a few things that we can uh, combine with that as well. A skeptic, you know, the definition, having or expressing doubt. And I think every single one of us are skeptics. I truly do, because I think that's part of life. But, you know, Here's the thing, a skeptic simply just needs evidence to be persuaded that something is true. You know, I think we all head into something that we're hearing about and we're a little skeptical, but just give us the evidence. So, you know, when we are skeptical about something, we're distrustful of something and we don't think it'll work. I mean, that's just kind of it in a nutshell. You know, some of us may say, I'm very skeptical about this specific project. I didn't, I just don't think it'll work. I'm just not sure about it. But this person that I just described in that is simply disbelieving and unconvinced. Okay. It may be that closed parachute that coach was talking about instead of open. A skeptic is unconvinced by a plan or an idea or a statement. There are lots, skeptics have lots and lots of reservations and doubts. For example, this is something I thought of. When I see an advertisement that says, I can learn Chinese in 10 days, that I can learn to speak fluent Chinese in 10 days, y'all, I just don't see how I can learn that. An entire foreign language in seven to, ten, seven to 14 days? Good grief, I don't see that. You know, I'll have true reservations about learning Chinese in that short period of time. I'm just simply doubtful that that time frame's gonna work for me. It just does not seem realistic. So yeah, I'm kind of skeptical of that claim. So now if I'm skeptical also about something being true, if I'm, but if I'm presented evidence, open the parachute, if I'm presented evidence about it, I am going to kind of open up and change my mind because that evidence has been presented to me and now I have a belief. So, you know, being skeptical isn't always bad and we all, we need to learn that and we need to understand that. But when we're skeptical about something, at least I ask you to please have an open mind, especially if you're presented with evidence that actually prove is factual and true. So, you know, you know, coach and I basically had the same message this morning, maybe a few different examples, but it's being skeptical is both good and bad, in my opinion. And I just think the key to everything that we do moving forward is when we're presenting with something that's just, like I said, it's just too good to be true. Don't block it out of our mind. Ask for more information and let's be more receptive of that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Um, Colorado people, 
enjoy your time there. I'm going to be zooming in and uh, I can't wait to learn everything I can. Hate I can't be there, but let's all have a great weekend. And I, like I said, it's a blessing to be with you guys and uh, I love you. Coach, safe travels this morning. We love you and we love this community. Thanks for being here. Have an amazing Friday and an amazing weekend. We'll see you back on Monday. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Big waves. Thanks, 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 Thanks,